Joe is the owner of several businesses, uh, Century Backup, Data Restoration Services, and One-on-One -on -one Computers. Well, let's move on. <clears throat> the next kind of concern that we have are viruses. And uh, you're probably chuckling under your breath right now because it wasn't but about a week ago. And I called you, and I was frantic, and I said, Joe, you've got to come right now. <laughs> I've just downloaded this virus by accident. And um, you, did, you did come right over and uh, cleaned it up for me. But um, and th in that case, it was an email that, that told me to open an attachment. Of course, I'm usually not that obedient, but I, I did. I opened the uh, opened the attachment because it said it was from UPS and it needed to deliver a package and we hadn't been here and to open the attachment and see when to have the package delivered. Well, we get packages every day, so, you know, silly me thought it was true and it wasn't. It was a virus. So talk about the definition of a virus and then we'll go on and, and talk about some uh, specific kinds of viruses. Yeah, viruses are just, as it states here, a piece of code or a little piece of program that uh, gets into your computer and it attaches itself to uh, uh, other programs in your computer and it self-replicates itself and can spread by various means. And it, can, it basically is just a little set of instructions that tells the computer to do something without your knowledge. Okay. Uh, I want you uh, folks to know out there that Joe picked out the green virus monster down there <laughs> when we were making this webinar for you. I would say that in one-on-one -on -one computers, uh, dealing with infections on computers is approximately 25% of what I do. Mm, I can believe that after last week with me. So um, there's different categories of viruses, and if you would just Go down through some of these and um, give us some interesting facts. So, like, I love the information you gave me about that first one called uh, Stoned. I thought that was really yeah. good Basically, information. A boot sector virus, what it does is it, it gets into the first part. It gets on your hard drive in the first part. So every time you turn your computer on, it reinfects itself, and it just activates the virus. So you don't even have to be running for this thing to activate. The two most well-known ones were the Michelangelo uh, virus and the stone virus. And the reason they named it the stone virus was that it basically made your computer continually get slower and slower and slower. And that's where it got that name. Other ones are your file type viruses. Uh, the most common one that people think of is the love letter virus. And it said something about this was a love letter and it just would infect as soon as you open the email, it was infected. Uh, and as you see, there are just several other types um, that get in there, and there's different methods by which they, um, they hide themselves and they move around and infect other computers. Um, Joe, let me ask you right here. Are, are these hard to identify, or have you got special software where, where you can pretty much take care of most of these? Most of your um, security software, which is available either uh, for free or uh, you can purchase um, uh, software such as McAfee or Norton. Uh, there's a couple of dozen ones out there. Most of this stuff can be handled within, within, with that software. Uh, sometimes if the uh, virus definitions are out of date and a virus gets in there, it does take other special software and sometimes hardware to get, get the viruses out. But do you, do you um, have that extra software? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, yes. Yes. That's the largest part of what you do. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have AVG, the free version of AVG on my computer. Yes. And that is, um, that's a good, that's a good um, standalone virus protection software. Good, because you put it on there. Okay, um, let's go here. Let's talk about malware. Of course, that stands for malicious software. Right. And if you know any Spanish, you know that mal means bad, so that goes right along with that. Right. How is that different um, from viruses? Well, malware um, uh, or malware uh, covers a much larger uh, 
it's a broader word that, that covers all kinds of different software. Viruses is a very specific type of software that does a specific thing. Um, malware is spyware, Trojan, horses, um, uh, that type of stuff. Uh, it all comes within that. And they don't necessarily, or they aren't necessarily infections, so to speak. Uh, rogue antivirus uh, programs um, come under this definition. And they, they do a myriad of things that, that don't necessarily do any damage to the computer. Um, is this an, is malware um, an example of the one you told me about, like where you would be working in Microsoft Word and all the letters would just all of a sudden fall off the page? And No, that was actually a virus. Oh, that was a virus. You know, uh, malware would be like a rogue antivirus software. Uh, that's a common thing that comes about where it'll, it'll be a piece of software that gets installed on your computer without your knowledge, and then it'll start falsely reporting that you are infected with with viruses and stuff, and it'll list them, and then it basically takes control of your computer and wants you to give them a credit card number. They say our software will take care of it, and it's actually just nothing but a scan to get money from you. Uh, oh, so so never pay for online help that you didn't solicit yourself. That's right. Okay. Uh, yeah, if it's if it's telling you you're infected and the solution is to give them money, it, it's not true. Um, other types is spyware. That's a common term where uh, your activities are monitored and transmitted out to whoever is watching. Um, so they can get things like uh, your usernames and passwords and any information you're typing in on the computer. Is, does this have anything to do with the word phishing, P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G? That's part of it, yeah. Phishing is, is, a, is a malware, and what that is is that's uh, basically a bait and switch. Phishing is done on a web browser where you think you're going someplace or you think you're going to click on something, and it, and it makes you go somewhere else mm. or do something else. How about key logging? What's that? Key logging is key loggers are where it, uh, it starts um, recording every keystroke that you make on your computer, and that... So if you're logging into a website and you're using your username or password, they're going to be able to capture that information and then they can, you know, go into your accounts. And is there software to prevent that that you should be oh, running? Yeah, yeah you, you look at uh, your antivirus uh, security suites and most of them have that a component that they're looking for key loggers and that kind of stuff.